Here we can see it says f equals a or not a. Let's remind ourselves of the truth table for an OR gate because this is two variables, an a and a not a being OR together. And I'm going to write down the truth table here, which we would normally show as a and b as being the inputs, and then a couple of zeros followed by a couple of ones, and this column goes 0, 1, 0, 1. And then we look at what would be the output f. And for an OR gate, we should know by now that the first entry would be a 0 and all of these here would be a 1. In other words, the output is a 1 when there is at least one 1 at the input to an OR gate. And we can see that that is the case. The last entry, we can see there's two 1s, but that's at least one 1, i.e. 2. If A's are 0, then not A is its opposite, must be a 1. And if A was a 1, then the not A is the opposite. So consequently, the two combinations we're really interested in from the truth table is this row here, where we can see A is a 0 and B is a 1, i.e. they're different, and this entry here. And for both of those, we can see that the output is actually a 1. So inspection of the truth table should allow us to conclude that this actually gives us 1. So in other words, A or not A minimizes to a 1. Let's reproduce A or not A using a combinational logic circuit. And I'm going to start off here with an input A. And I'm going to say that that is going to act as the input to an OR gate, which I'll try and draw as accurately as I can here. Well, it roughly looks like an OR gate. And we have an output here, and I want to produce at this point F equals A or not A. Well, I can see I've got the input A here. Now what I need to do is to produce the other input to be a not A. And that's quite simple to do. All you do is you take a tap off the A here, and you put that A through a not gate. And of course, the output of the not gate would be a not A. And of course, this not A is now the input to the OR gate. So it's quite right to say that the output now at F is A or not A. Now with this particular circuit, what I need to do is to have a look at the value of A and see what the output would be at F. So what I'll do, I'll produce this circuit twice. So now we can see we have a copy of the circuit that I've just drawn twice. And what I'm going to do with each of these is to show what happens at the output F for the both possible conditions of A. So I've changed the colour, so let's say that I'm going to choose A as being a zero here. And of course that zero is going to come along to the input to the OR gate here. And of course the zero will come down here. It'll go into the input of this NOT gate. And the output from the NOT gate will be a one. And that of course is the input to the OR gate. And now we can see the OR gate has at least one one present at its input. And that's sufficient for us to know that F in no circumstances would actually be a 1. Now the other possible value for A is it can be a 1. Now that 1 now would come to the input of this OR gate here. And the 1 would also come down here to the NOT gate. The output of the NOT gate now would be a 0. And if we now look at the OR gate, we can see that it has at least one 1 present at its input. Consequently, we are confident in saying that the output again is 1, because hopefully we know what the truth table is for an OR gate. So we can conclude that if we see F is A or not A, we know that can only be 1. Consequently, what about this? If you saw F equals B or not B? Well, hopefully you would be able to apply the same approach that I've done here and prove to yourself that that, in fact, is also a 1. If I take this one here, which is F is not C or C, well, again, using the same approach, you should be able to prove that that is also 1. Now, it stands the sense that it's going to be a 1, because let's take another example here. Let's say I take F is D or not D. Well, they're going to be the opposite. You see, if D is a 1, it means not D is a 0. And if D is a 0, 
it means not D is a 1. So we will always have at least one 1 present. And that's sufficient to give us a 1 at the output.